Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today we're going to talk about VLANs within Cisco ACI and how you find the VLANs on different ports and so on. So firstly, I was planning to show you within the tenant. So if we go into a tenant in ACI, then we can find application profiles. And in here we have a few application profiles. And we also have a few EPGs. And EPGs in this case would be VLANs. So here we can see that we have VLAN 300. And if we check on operational and client endpoints, we can see which ports and um, and where it's active. But if you want to check, for example, on this specific interface, or this specific interface, if this VLAN 300 is active there in CLI. So if we would go into CLI for the leaf switch, show in description. And we can see here that we have a few VPCs. For example, this um, GH migration VPC pool group. So that's VLAN, that's interface 41. And it's port channel four. So if we want to see that VLAN 300 is active on this, on this specific port, well, in normal uh, Cisco, we would do show int port channel for trunk. And the issue with this is that you see a lot of VLANs, but you see VLAN 300 is actually missing. But we can see the MAC addresses here. And if we search for this MAC address, if you can copy this. Show Mac address table address. We can see that it's active on VLAN 21 and VLAN 30. And that's nothing that we have configured. We have configured VLAN 300. And we also see that it's VLAN 300 here. And here's the, I think it's annoying, but if you do show VLAN, and we're looking for VLAN 21 and VLAN 31, so we can see that VLAN 21 is this one and 31 is this one so VLAN 31 on this specific switch is tenant 8 application profile 1 and VLAN 300 so this this row is the same as this. So 008, 001, and VLAN 300. So if you want to look for VLAN 300 in this specific switch, we need to check for VLAN 31. Complicated? Yes. So why do we see VLAN 21 as well? And VLAN 233 is there. And we also have uh, that specific MAC address. So, so this specific server or um, firewall or whatever it is, it's uh, using the same MAC address in two different VLANs. But you see, it's still correct. So you have 008, 001, 323. 
and this is the port and we are on port 4 and one additional thing that is complicated if you're going to do uh, monitoring these interface names when it comes to port channels this is nothing that you can change your name on this is automatically assigned and they can change just keep that in mind if you're doing monitoring on port channels or statistics on port channel this is not a fixed value this can change within Cisco ACI the tunnel interfaces is something that is created automatically as well so the only thing that you can do when you do a, a VPC or a port channel is that you can put the description you cannot pick a port channel number so make sure to have your descriptions and um, if you want to find out VLANs back and forward you more or less need to do a show VLAN and then you need to figure out which VLAN it is and then map it so not super easy I want to show you one more thing as well if you want to grep and see which um, VLANs is active on this one you can do it from the, uh, the APIC so you can do a command on the APIC itself to list all the VLANs on the specific port and you can base it on on the name or the path of your in this case the VPC so this is a VPC name so this is matching go to fabric access policy interface leaf policy group VPC interface so this is matching this name so we are grepping for the specific name to be able to see all these different VLANs is allocated to this VPC and this is a quite simple one because here is actually everything in the same tenant and the same application profile so in this case it would be possible maybe not the uh, most efficient but you can go into to tenants and see that manually you, you can map it um, so for example GH here application profile I mean you could go in and you can check static ports for everything and see which VLAN is mapped and where but the issue is if you use AEPs for example for your VMware like if you want to have a simple way to to add a VLAN to many ports at the same time then you can use a function called AEP and that's uh, let's see so that's under fabric access policy policy global attachable access entry profiles so here for example we have our VMware ports and they have a lot of VLANs and they are connected to different tenants so here it's starting to get quite complicated to figure out which VLAN is actually active on this port and one more thing this will not show up under 
um, so so this is the name of the of the port. So if we go into tenant eight zero one and then three o six tenant eight zero one. 306 these ports are not allocated here they are not visible here so this VLAN is actually active on, on more ports but they are not present in this list so we actually found a way to see that it took a while and I got a lot of help from my colleagues but um, you can do a, a command and grep for this uh, AEP name. So let's go back. We have fabric policies global AEP. So now we're matching for this one. So we want to get out this information. So we can do a mo query and we can uh, uh, check the infrastructure functions EPG and we grep the, the VMM AEP. So here we can see 001 3, uh, 3205, 3205, and we can see 3206, 3206. And you see here the tenant is 001 here and tenant is 008 here. And tenant is 006 here. Imagine doing this in the GUI. That would be horrible. So this was it for the Mo query for, for right now. And I hope you did learn something. And I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.